It's funny you mentioned Pat Carrigan as well too. Paulie's on a hat trick. We've seen some famous hat tricks here at the Gabba. Peter Siddle got one on his birthday. And now Pat Carrigan is searching for three tries in a row. We're underway for Friday night footy. Sit back, relax and enjoy this one. And it's the milestone man, Payne Haas, with the first touch of the football. Game 100. How many more games will he have in Broncos colours? That is something that has been up for debate, the future of Payne Haas. Back in the team, Jordan Rickey. Here's Thomas Flegler. And Bryce Cartwright in the tackle, along with Joe Fengawi, a former Bronco. Spent quite a few years here at the Broncos. There's Pat Carrigan. Getting just beyond the 30. Payne Haas with his second touch in this set. Gets to within nine of the halfway line. Andrew Davey, one of the defenders there for the Eels. Last play. Reynolds. Kicking from down that short side. The southern side of the Gabba. And some solid defence. Ricky leading the way on Clint Gutherson. Kick chaser Jordan Ricky Cam has been a real feature of his game throughout the season and it's good to see him back now recovered from injury yeah up for several weeks jordan ricky and yeah, he's a target on that edge isn't he for their kicking game particularly for adam reynolds he chases hard he nails the fullback early takes away their kick return game junior balor playing the ball on the eels 30. there's a fair contingent of Parramatta fans too around the gabba very popular team in southeast Queensland, the Eels. Reese Walsh taking that one on his own 10. Alex the pass. Sideline tonight, best seat in the house. Good evening, Darren Lockyer. Evening, Salty. Evening, everyone. Yeah, the conditions is a cracking day here in Brisbane, and tonight's no different. It's 19 degrees, and there's pretty much no breeze to speak of. Two. So for the on players the line, out there tonight, it's a little bit of a northwesterly there, but for the players tonight. It is perfect conditions, and we should see the, the ball being used plenty. Thank you, Lockie. Goes to all sorts of lengths, Darren Lockie, to get all the weather details. He was looking for the dew point on his phone on a nap earlier. I'm still looking for it, <laughs> Billy Walters out of dummy half. That's a nice play to Carrigan. And a flick pass. Reese Walsh kicks. It's off an eel. It'll come back here for Herbie Farnworth. It was played at by Clint Gutherson. So a fresh set of six now for Brisbane. Dean Mariner, the youngster. He has a nice switch of play on that right before. And uh, Billy Walters to Pat Carrigan on the charge he was. Strolling through. Flegler now for Brisbane. Walters goes to Reynolds, and now Katoni Staggs. That's a good tackle in the end from Dijan Arce. Cobbo to dummy half. Reynolds, now Carrigan, passing before the line. Walsh, Ezra Mann, Herbie Farnworth. Out it goes to Mariner. Does well, cut back in, so he remained in the field of play. Two tackles left in the set. Man to Walsh, Carrigan, 10 away, good tackle. Joff and Gowie, last play for Brisbane. Reynolds, Katoni Staggs, that was a beautiful pass. Cobbo, off the chest of Ricky, into touch, Parramatta, hang on. Well, they've done their homework, the Broncos, haven't they, attacking the down their right-hand side. It's their strongest attacking side all season, but looking at Parramatta's left edge last week, as we've seen that replay running on the last, Katoni Staggs, just tries that little pass to try and put Selwyn Cobbo away, but it was Parramatta. They conceded all of their points down that left-hand side. Stand this is tough yardage now for the Eels, coming out of their own 20. Off and Gowie, met by Flegler and Capewell. Joey Lussick in a dummy half. A good charge, but losing it though in the tackle of Jordan Ricky and Pat Carrigan and their celebrations there. Rare error from Jermaine Hopgood. And Brisbane have been doing it both sides of attack and defence this year. Their defence is fantastic, and there's a solid hit and a mistake made by Parramatta. 
Parramatta's to win this, they can't be making mistakes like that. Here's Brad Arthur. He'll be disappointed with that error. The Eels coach's box. What an opportunity this is for the Broncos. If we ever get the scrum packs. Tom, nothing in it. Adam Reynolds feeds the scrum. Walters out the back of it. Now Reese Walls. Elected not to pass there to Herbie Farnworth. Walters the dummy half. He's played every game this year for Brisbane is Billy Walters. Now Flegler, set restart. Parramatta inside the 10. 20 metres away. Payne Haas. Oh, beautiful flick pass there to Carrigan. And that was stripped with more than one in the tackle. Jermaine's also there. So two in the tackle, penalty Brisbane. They continue to apply Adam, the pressure wait, here, mate. or they take the two. Wait, Adam. Adam. They're going to tap. They're going to tap. Yeah, yeah. Joey. No, they've changed their mind. They're going to take the two. So there's the Gabba. Great sight from high above from our drone. And here's Adam Reynolds to produce the first points tonight. And 2 0 lead it will be for Brisbane. He won't make a mistake from right in front. There it is, Brisbane in front, 2 0. Now the 2023 NRL and NRLW Telstra Premiership Grand Finals are on at a core stadium Sunday, October 1. Don't miss your chance to witness history. Head to nrl.com slash tickets to secure your Grand Final tickets now. I was a little surprised there, Salty. That the Broncos took the two. I thought they were they had the heels on the back foot, but... Stay on Very you guys professional time decision. Run. Yeah, early it's just, points. Yeah, it's just a sign of respect. I mean, Parramatta aren't mugs. And, you know, it's a gift two points. You may as well take it. Payne Haas met by Brown and Davey. Oh, back it up, release. There's a mistake there. Yeah, good, solid contact. And an error there from... Jordan Ricky, they're all getting around Jermaine yes, Hopgood. Over here, guys. Here's an opportunity for the Eels. Yeah. Golden opportunity. You see Hopgood here just while he hit. There's a clash of the knees on the way down to the ground. Jordan Ricky was trying to find the ground. Caught the ball. He, he's been good this year for them, Hopgood. Strong runner. And you can see there a, a good solid hitter. Nice. So this will test the Broncos. A great opportunity here for the Eels. It's an area of the ground that Mitch Moses loves attacking from. There's the world's biggest centre in Junior Balor. Ten metres away, Lusick. Now off and Gowie on an angled run off Moses. Five metres away from the line. Lusick the dummy half. Junior Balor trying to barge his way over. He'll get to within half a metre of the line before he was forced back. Now Lusick from dummy half. Can he get the ball down? Tuckle it four. looks as though Flegler's got his Tuckle arm four. underneath. Out In fact, guys. it is held up straight away as the call. Yeah, a sneaky little opportunity there for Lusick. He's seen oh, Reese Walsh at cut, marker, cut. nearly got him. Cut right to dummy half for Parramatta. Two tackles left in this set. Moses goes to Gutherson. Clint Gutherson, they wrap the ball up. That's good defence, Brisbane. Jordan Ricky, Adam Reynolds in there. Last play for the Eels. Nine away from the line. Moses kicks. Oh, that is a great take. Herbie Farnworth, but are they going to force him back in goal? He remains just in the field of play. 
Mariner. That looked awkward at one stage. It looked as though the Eels were going to be able to force him back a couple of metres, but he did well in the end, the young Broncos winger. Now Walters. Talk about awkward. He slipped in the tackle there as well. Pass. Good defensive set here from the Eels. Last play and Brisbane will be forced to kick from pretty much their own 30 metre line. Reynolds puts boot to ball. Russell is back there for the Eels. There's a man trying to put a big shot there on Sean Russell. That was a great defensive effort by Parra. They're going to need to find that consistently throughout tonight to keep the Broncos out of their own end. Cartwright. Tackled by Capewell. Now Will Penasini. He's driven back in some strong Broncos defence. Capewell again. Off and Gowie to Hopgood. Short ball to Barlow. Last play, Parramatta. Moses. Hoist that one high. Here come the chasers. Underneath it is Mariner, and he takes it very well. Good young player, Dean Mariner. Juggle there from Herbie. Walters the dummy half. Bobbo. Paul Parramatta starting to, to warm to the task here. Brisbane not having their own way, coming out of their own no, end. No, they're up for the fight. And they're a big side. Big forwards, big backs. And they're everything Brisbane's throwing at them at this stage. Although there's a chance here. Reese Walsh. Look out, look out. He finds Carrigan. Slips a pass back to Reese Walsh. He can't handle. Puts it down. Well, there's a combination that we've seen over the last few weeks is Carrigan and Walsh. That time Carrigan, he come from nowhere. Reese Walsh. There's a big shift to the left-hand side, and then he went left foot, left foot, left foot. Found a bit of space in the middle of the field. There's Carrigan. And big Paddy, he'd be thinking, well, I wish I took that tackle. We had a couple up our sleeve. They've tried to force a couple tonight, the Broncos. They've stuck, but... Yeah, if, you, if you're that close to the ground and you're trying to pass, it's a million to one shot, Doc. <laughs> the Eels just inside their own territory. Now Hopgood. Hoffengawi. Capel in the tackle. Be impressed with this little period of play if you're an Eels fan. Cartwright. Into the 20 they go. Lusick. Now Brown off and Gowie. Hopgood. Dylan Brown kicks for himself. Regathers and scores a try. Does he know uh, he lost it? Uh, he lost the ball. What a beautiful piece of rugby league by Dylan Brown. Knock on short. So they've knocked it on, tried to regather it. A lovely, a deft little kick. And had the speed, got there first. But, ooh, there was a bit of a tension on him from behind, and that forced him to knock it on. Yeah, it was smart play, Fatty, as you said. The whole right edge of the Broncos, they'd rushed up. So, so Dylan Brown, he'd seen the space might, in behind. They might look at this because he was tackled be before he... I'm Jerome Bryce. Oh, they're playing on. Got to the ball. Yeah, OK. I think the ruling... There was that he dropped it and then because he had his hands on the ball initially, then he was fair game for Jordan Ricky. Give room, Dylan! Wait, wait! Well, the Eels are on some more of that strong defence down this end of the field. Wayne Haas. Often Gow in the tackle. Hofgood was there as well. Thomas Flegler. That's a good run. Gets to within 12 of the halfway line. Billy Walters with a shot from inside the 40. It's not a bad one. And was he out? No, he did really.
really well. What a play. Clint Gutherson, take a bow. Great play. I don't know if we can see it on your TV screens at home, but this ground, it's got a, a camber, a roll-off to the sideline, so it would have been helping that bounce. Look at that effort there by Clint Gutherson. The right foot inches off the ground, knocking the ball in field. That's a classy play from a classy player. Any lucky? Oh, that was the right tactic by the Broncos. Kick early and get the Parramatta coming down off, off their end. We'll see Mitch Moses here. Yeah, look out. He goes Moses. Lucky up the halfway line. We'll get down to you in just a moment. Russell goes to dummy half as all of a sudden the Eels on the front foot. Penasini. Tackled by Walters and Flegler. Here's the last play. Moses, neat bit of footwork. Gives himself some time to put a high testing kick up in the air for Reese Walls. And Jermaine Hopgood leading the charge there, along with Joe and Gowie. Back down you, Lockie. There's no doubt Parramatta are on tonight. Their, their line speed's good. Their intent with the ball's good. Just for the Broncos, I guess the big test for them, that they're, while they're flying high at the moment, they've still got to break the opposition down before they start to use the football. You've got to earn the right to spread the ball. And, so it's an interesting test for them in the next 15 minutes. I must say, they, they look a little bit shocked at the moment, the Broncos, the way that Parramatta are, are attacking them with their defence. I don't think the team has tested them out defensively in quite some time. Interesting to see how they respond here. Well, that's pretty much the third set of six in a row, Cam, that Brisbane have had to kick from inside their 40. One of them has been from inside their own 30. Great stuff from the Eels. And we're going to see plenty of desperate football team on Nines Ooh. Wide World of Sports Ezra over the Mam. next few weeks. Ezra Mam, Soldy. I've injured his shoulder there in that, that tackle on Bailey Simonson. He's still in back play. Drop the heart! He's in the wars a couple of weeks ago, limping around with a knee issue, and now he's holding his shoulder. He's getting back to the defensive line now. He might have to make a tackle. And he gets in there on Pettacini. I'm no doctor, but there's nothing wrong with his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> a high kick, and Cobo does well, and Zan Arce, who we're used to seeing mainly in a number six jumper playing in the centres tonight. It's really about, well there. It's about the fifth time Brisbane has started on the, their own try line. So Parramatta's defence is very, very good tonight. Along with the kicking game of Mitch Moses in game 150 for the Eels. Capewell. Hop good in the tackle along with that being just talking about Moses. Thomas Flegler. Again. Brisbane having to kick from inside their own 40 on the last tackle. Reynolds. It's a very, very good kick, though. And Bailey Simonson will be stopped on his own 10 metre line. Well, that's a great result. That man there on screen, he kicked, kicked from well inside his own half. He's able to find the opposition trial line. It's a great chase by the Broncos. Is Russell. The wife Flegler and Ricky. Clint Gutherson taking a hit up for his team. He'll skip up. Walsh under that one. Goes straight to Dean Mariner. Storm Team Mariner, many believe that next year with Herbie Farnworth heading off to the Dolphins, that he's a ready-made replacement in the centres for Brisbane. So the ball now has been in play five minutes. Five minutes, that fatigue factor certainly in play. Five and a quarter minutes now. Herbie Farnworth gets to the 40. Tackle four for Brisbane. Walters. Walsh. Long pass, Mariner. Dean Mariner! Almost slipping through. 
Walsh on the last. Finds Capewell. Capewell inside for Reynolds. Reynolds! Wow! That is spectacular from Brisbane. Forget about a one-off in Vegas. Give him a residency next year. Ah, yes, Salty. That is magic. Broncos magic. Come on, Kev. Smile. That was so good from the Bronx. Last tackle. The danger of running on the last tackle. Not enough teams do it. So Parramatta struggling to get back on side. And Kurt Capel showing all his experience on the Harvey Norman replay. And Adam Reynolds, Brisbane, six. Parramatta nil. Well, they just outworked them there on the last tackle. There was two defenders. They had enough defenders on that short side with Reese Walsh. But he just used his speed to draw the winger, got to the outside, and a lovely kick inside by Capewell to the skipper. Great try down to you, Lockie. Well, it was great vision too by, by Walsh. I'm sure Reynolds would have been on the open calling the ball for the fifth and last play. But he decided to go down the short side. You see it here. He can see that they're, they're offside, comes down and then draws two, two players in. And then Capewell, yeah. And those little legs of Adam Reynolds, uh, they got him there. I don't, I don't, if it was another 15 metres, I don't know whether he would have got there, but well done, Skip. He scored a try against the Eels in Darwin earlier this year, back in round eight. Now he converts his own try here at the Gabba. Walsh lighting up the Gabba and setting up a try for his skipper, Adam Reynolds. <laughs> After all that effort, Parramatta down by eight. Wayne Haas. What are we, 22 minutes in? Haas and Pat Carrigan have just been outstanding. Yeah, funny they, they've been that way for this entire season and you go into last year as well. Until that disastrous last month of football. But that one-two combination of that man on screen and Payne Haas, just incredible. The amount of work they get through, not just carrying the football, but tackles as well, long minutes, the presence on the field that they, they have and the, the confidence that they give their teammates. Reynolds kicking, Bailey Simonson taking that one on the fall. Zahar <laughs> Nasi, short of his own 40 metre line. And Brisbane slow to get off him there, so a penalty Parramatta. The Eels will now get good field position as they hope to hit back. Moses, a super touch. That's a very good kick. Zanasi with the tap. Off and Gowie. Carrigan, Flegler, and Haas are all in that tackle. Moses to pass away, and now the Eels 21 away. It's only tackle two. Brown, Gutherson, Marcy, that's a good tackle for Tony Staggs. Westpac red zone, Salty, Broncos three, Eels six inside 20, so plenty of opportunities. Moses now, Penasini. Will Penasini, nine away from the line, that's a good tackle from Herbie Farnworth. 
Russell goes to dummy half. Moses at first receiver. What can they conjure up here? The Eels off and Gowie put on his back, flipped it out the back. It's play on here though for Parramatta. Ryan Madison is on the field. You can see him out there in 15. He's Dylan Brown. Trying to weave his way through. Look who's there. Payne Haas grabbed him. Didn't fall for the dummy. Last play, Eels. Moses kicking for Cartwright. No goes beyond him. Penasini gets a jump at it. It's there for the Russell Eels. Knock on. Knocked on. Knocked on. Knocked on. Knocked on. The Parramatta Eels. Madison will be able to try. Wait. There's another knock on here as well. Knocked on by Cartwright I think, it out initially. Check and then uh, another, another knock on. And the Parramatta is blowing up. But uh, two knock ons. That one there, that goes forward. Another knock on there, so Brisbane get the ball 10 metres out from their own pace. I didn't mind that ball movement by Parramatta in that set. You just you seen that face ball, that cutout pass from Madison. They got a try off that last week against the Dragons where he hit Junior Barlow close to the line. A bit more ball playing now that Madison's on the field. And the, the size of the Eels attack. We've got some creativity there as well. Especially with, with Madison and Cartwright on the field together. There's Bryce Cartwright in that tackle. Ron Flegler, along with Lussick. Walters the dummy half. Ezra Mann, they go down the short side. He throws a dummy. He's got ball and four. Cartwright doing well again defensively. Payne Haas with an offload. Walters, that's a nice ball. Carrigan. Madison in the tackle. Andrew Davey. Get up, Andrew. Last play for Brisbane. Six more. Oh, set restart on the last tackle. Uh, Paddy Carrigan, too smart there, just tangled the legs up on Madison. Tricked the referee. Keenan Pulisir on the field for Brisbane. Playing the ball, 29 away from the line. Solid contact there, yeah, Moses on Capewell. Hospital job that one. Little pass. Thanks very much, Ezra. Payne Ars. Another six again. Yeah, and this will be a penalty. penalty. That's silly from Clint Guthers, isn't he? Just settle down. He was, I think Ball's he panicked out. that he thought Haas might get up and run again, so he flicked at the ball and came out and... Adam, Adam. I don't need him all running at me, all right? Keep that in check. So maybe he thought Haas was going to run and he just selected Hold a shot of this ball. So. So here's a chance for Brisbane. Keenan Pulisia. Madison oh, in the tackle along with please, Cartwright. Please. They're three metres away. Walters to Reynolds. He's Payne Haas. Gutherson. He's oh, getting a piggyback right there from Payne Haas. Billy Walters, nice bit of work. From the Broncos, number nine. And Brisbane go further in front. Oh, very smart play, Billy Walters. Not his preferred position. He grew up playing in the halves, but just watch him look up here and see Clint Gutherson. He leaves the tackle late. Harvey Norman replay. You just see Gutherson there going back to the right-hand side. Got one marker. Went out to his left. Back to his right, found the space in behind the play of the ball. It's a very good dummy half try, that one. Yeah, he's really developed Billy into a top class first grader. And there was some doubts maybe a year ago or early, even earlier this year. Oh, he's kept his son, that's why he's in. No, no, he, he's got his spot because he's worked hard off the field and he's developed his skill and stature in this team. And he deserves to be in this team and he's playing so well. What do you like about his dummy half game? Kev? Well, just well, he's keen to run the football, Fatty. Any opportunity, so he's seen Clint, Clint Gutherson leave that tackle late, so he knew there was going to be some disruption in the Parramatta defensive line. His awareness to know that there was only one marker, and he just put a little left foot step on, right foot step on, found the space in behind. There was always going to be a hole there. Great dummy half try. Did you step off both feet? Uh, well, when I was running in a straight line. Only when your knees gave way. Reynolds converts.
Bucks happy. Broncos fans are happy. They're out to a 14 0 lead down to you, Lockie. Well, the Broncos, they passed their, their test here tonight. The, the Eels, it was 2 0 to the Broncos early, but the Eels had the better of the game, and then they've found a way to grind it out, win the arm wrestle, and put on two tries. So that's a sign of a good team that they can just hang in there when they're under pressure and then convert that into points for themselves. So a good period for the last for the Broncos in the last 15 minutes. Look out, here goes Reese Walsh. Walsh, oh, how elusive is he? Trying to hit top gear, finds Mam. Mam wrapped up by Penasini. Walters, Capewell. Listen, he found top form in the last couple of weeks, Kirk Capewell. Ezra Mann, centre of the ground, Reynolds to Carrigan. Reese Walsh is over the other side now, looking up with Tony Staggs. And he couldn't find Selvin Cobbo. Last play for Brisbane. Cobbo goes to dummy half. Reynolds puts up a kick. Gutherson, he's lost it. And Brisbane have First one power. regathered, but a double knock on. So All Brisbane contest. with the scrum feed. All good news for the, for the Broncos. They're running right in this set. Now they get an error from the back from Clint Gutherson. Bit of pressure on him here from Jordan Ricky. We spoke at the start. He loves that kick chase part of the game. Reese Walsh just on that sweeping left hand side, that run break the eels right open. Okay, go, see Andrew. Walsh and Ezra Mam teaming up Come here. On. Fine right in. The number Shot of sets off. really Fine adding up now in favour of Brisbane. 15 from 18. The Eels have been good. 8 from 10. Long pass Walsh. Oh, oh, oh. Mariner. He's the new Mariner on the wing for Brisbane. What a try. Well set up again by that man in the number one jersey. You know that is salty. That is champagne rugby league. Yes. <laughs> that is that is so good to watch. Kenny, come on, smile. Look at this. I reckon they knew this was on. This is preset for sure. Done it a million times of training, and isn't it great when it turns out and works out? Reese Fox, what a start. Oh, it was a great. Great try on the Harvey Norman replay. As we said, they set up Ezra Mam, Reese Walsh. They were just sitting in behind the scrum. They just wanted to find the mismatch. They come out to the left-hand side. It was four on three in the end. And it was the the, the winger. He he seen Ezra Mam just sweeping out the back. Just watch Ezra Mam sweep a big sweeping run out the back here. He jams in. This is that beautiful lob pass from Reese Walsh. Beautiful, Lockie. Well, it's the speed too. Mitchell Moses wouldn't leave Reese Walsh. He didn't have faith in the guys inside him to pick him up. And that's that's what speed does. It puts doubt in the defenders' minds. And as he come across, Moses wouldn't release. And that's what created the overlap. But still, he had to execute the pass. That's just a case of Parramatta panicking. Those players out wide, they panic. And they, oh, I've got to run in. I've got to run in. Uh-oh. What happened? Chant, they ran down outside your school. That's what happened. <laughs> Reynolds can't curl it back. Dean Mariner, great finish, all laid on by Reese Walsh. Dean Mariner has just come into this side, and he's going, how good's this? How long's this been going on? I just got to catch it and fall over the line. <laughs> you saying you would have scored that? Probably, I probably would have dropped it. <laughs> I wasn't that good, so. Selling yourself short. Here's Capewell. Payne Haas. 
10 short of the halfway line. Last tackle here for Brisbane. Reynolds. Bailey Simonson tracking back to his own 10. No prizes for guessing who's leading the chase for Brisbane. Jordan Rickey was there, along with Keenan Pulisia. Heels need a response. Junior Barlow. Brad Arthur's put him back out there. Now Dylan Brown. And he conjure up something. Tackled by Reynolds. Henrique. Guramu Greg. Eddie Hetherington with a tackle down low. He's back after missing a week with a cork. got away from Reese Walsh. Does he take a risk here? And yeah, he, that's well done. He just knew it would take an extra couple of bounces on this firm Gabba surface and Brisbane Wait. with a seven tackle set. Yeah, he had plenty Wait. of time. It was a pretty ordinary kick. Get on. And uh, plenty of time just to ease that one over the back. This this team, I can't tell you how impressed I am the last few weeks. And they scored the tries out wide, but it, I just keep saying it's the full, it's Carrigan, it's Haas, it's Flegler all playing well again tonight who are making oh. those metres through the middle and opening up for out wide. And then you have guys like this. Yeah. yeah like Toby Hetherington coming on the field. They just they all just jump on board. They all follow each other's lead. Pulisia to Carrigan. Back to Pulisia. He gets an offload to Ezra Mam. Look out, Ezra Mam. Gets to the 20. Carrigan. Now Reynolds, plenty of options. Reese Walsh. Oh, he lost that one. He'll play it. 11 away from the Eels line. Reynolds kicking. That's a beautiful kick in the goal area. They'll get a repeat set here, Brisbane. Yeah, really smart kick that I knew was on that three chases. Well done to Lussick, though, to get back there and clean that ball up. He wasn't there. You see on this reverse angle, nice kick, Reynolds. Yeah, plenty of chases. Keep working on 10, Junior. They've got to dig deep here, Para. Season's on the line. They'll go for a short dropout. On or behind the line, time it! He's got to stick in this game. Here's the contest. Cut it. And it not was gone. knocked on. Nearly, good try. Shot clock on. But when Adam. you miss them, Brisbane now attacking 15, 20 metres out. Now, our Aussie Boomers are returning to Australia to take on the world, stacked with NBA stars, including Paddy Mills and Josh Giddy. Four blockbuster matches against Brazil, Venezuela, South Sudan and France as they start their journey to Paris 2024. It all starts this Monday night at 7.30 with every match live, exclusive free on Gem and Nine Now. Walsh dancing with them. He'll be stopped and he's lost it. Now Simonson. Yeah, well, that, that was a great run there by Reese Walsh, but it was tackle one. It was a tackle one error. I think that's what Kevy would be wanting to get out of their game. And now compounded by a penalty to allow the Parramatta Eels to get out of their own end. That, they're the type of things that I think Kevy would want them to improve on, wouldn't he, over the next few weeks? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Kevy's learning every game just what his team can do and can't do. And uh, the semis are only three or four weeks away. And I'm sure he's gearing up for a big finals 4-8. I'm telling you, uh, they'll nearly, that, they and Penrith, I think are a class above the rest of them. Well, I think tonight, if they get a win tonight, with the bye coming up as well, an extra two points, so I'll do that guarantee he's a top two if they yes. win tonight. There you go, that's huge.
Set restart here. Ryan Madison's got it for Parramatta. They're inside the 20 metre zone. 15 away. Can they end the half with a try here? Parramatta. Brown loops a pass. Simonson. Brisbane defence recovers. Bailey Simonson back towards the centre of the ground. Puts on a fend. Now a long pass, and Dean Mariner says, Thank you very much. And will he be able to get downfield? He won't be. But here goes Herbie. Herbie Farnworth. What a tackle. Not finished. Oh, Gets up. Oh, runs backwards. Oh, you mug there. How good. <laughs> the entertainers. Oh, did he just moonwalk? Oh, I think he moonwalked that into the end goal. He's a thriller. <laughs> you, can't, you can't beat it. Oh, unbelievable. Great footy. Mitch Moses. Great effort to chase down Herbie Farnworth. It was a wonderful effort first up. We just seen the long ball here. And Mariner, he plucked it out of thin air. Away he went downfield. Lovely little offload. I thought he was going to take that to ground. And Herbie, he set sail for the in goal. Look at that effort there from Mitch Moses. Wonderful attempt at tackling. And there he is. There he is. Moonwalk. A little kiss. <laughs> Try time. Harvey Norman replay. Yeah, you're right about Mitch Moses. State of origin halfback. And, that, and that's state of origin like that run down. And look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's no wonder the house bull sign is up here at the Gabba tonight. Brisbane fans happy their team's winning, but they're entertaining as well in the process. Herbie Farnworth with the four-pointer. 13 tries. In 2023 for the England International. Yes. There's another shot of it. Now Reynolds. He missed from there before, converts now right on half time. It ends a near perfect opening 40 minutes for the Brisbane Broncos. <laughs> half time at the Gabba. The Broncos 24, leading the Eels nil. This is the Broncos' last outing at the Gabba. Got a bye next week, then a trip to Canberra on a Saturday night. Have that game for you on at nine, and then they finish off with the Thursday night game in round 27 against the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, a huge game that one will be salty to round out the season. And Storm and Brizzy underway for the second half is Rumu Greg. Tackle by Ricky and Carrigan. Andrew Davy. Madison put on his back. Now Keaton Pulisia. The Eels, nine short of halfway. Junior Balo, can he get an offload away? He does. On the bounce, picked up by Brown. Last play coming up for the Eels. Walsh, tackled by Davy and Assi. Selwyn Cobbo for Brisbane, just outside the 20. And this won't do Parramatta's cause any good. It's an early penalty in this second half for the Broncos. Brad Arthur sitting on the Eels bench. On down to be with his players. So what does he say to his team, Cam? At halftime, Brad Arthur. Well, I think he just needs to remind them that they were well and truly in the match through that middle third of the period of, of the first half. And that they were on top in some stages. You just find that, that energy again that they had through that period of time, the, the 12 or 15 minutes where they really took it to the Broncos. 
Just one little slip up and just give the Broncos opportunity. They went bang, bang, bang. Reese Walsh to Selwyn Cobbo. They've got defending to do here, the Eels. Cobbo searching, scheming, looking for an opportunity. Walters, Carrigan, short ball, put down. There's an error from Brisbane. Yeah, good defence again from Parramatta. You know what? They didn't play that bad in the first half. It's just that Brisbane just carved them up late. Danica, you got news for us on Mitch Moses? Yes, yeah, so he will not be returning into the match at all tonight. I've just spoken to the medical staff of the Parramatta Eels, and they said that late in the game when he was actually chasing down that uh, Broncos try, he actually got a heavy knock to the head, uh, something to do with his cheekbone in that area. And during the halftime break, Pass he was reported... knocked on by Parramatta. Ball is then regathered by Adam Reynolds. We have a mutual infringement. Challenge is successful. So Adam Reynolds. So successful challenge here from Brisbane. Back down to you, Danica. So at half time, he reported uh, feeling unwell and had some uh, head symptoms. So that's when they decided to uh, test him. And that is when that he's been ruled out for the remainder of the game. Uh, so they are using the free HIA interchange as well. Yeah, you just see the, the boot or the, the leg from Herbie Farmworth collect him. And you've seen in those shots at half-time, Salty, the, he's had a bit of a shiner on that left cheekbone, so they've probably taken a bit of precaution there. Kobe Hetherington playing the ball for Brisbane. That's only tackle one. Now Carrigan, Reese Walsh. Nine away from the line. Tony Staggs, Ezra Mann, now Pat Carrigan. Obi Hetherington. Tackled by Davey and Lussick. Carrigan, Reynolds, Mann. Beautiful ball, he's in for a double. Dean Mariner. Lovely play, Broncos. That was clinical. Just watch the crispness of the passes out to their left-hand side. No Bronco player breaks stride at any stage on the Harvey Norman replay. Ball out in front, ball out in front. It's what these guys concentrate on in training, and that was the best pass of the lot. Ezra Mam, lovely cutout pass. Mariner, well, isn't he having a night on that left-hand side, on that wing? Lovely catch, nice finish. The Blanc the Broncos, they are in complete control. Lockie? Yeah, no Reese Walsh on that side either. So they still burn him for speed, but the, the timing of Mariner's run, you can see it here on the sideline. He was just, he hit it at pace, right at the right time. The ball was in the right spot. You see it here, just, you've got to execute this to perfection to get to get this in the, the try line there, because there wasn't a lot, a lot of room to play, and they had to get the passes out in front, which they did that. You see that ball there, just put it out in front, Mariner, he was he was 100% when he got the ball. That was great timing and a, and a nice back line movement to the left for the Broncos. Adam Reynolds looking to convert the Dean Mariner try. And that is a great kick. couple of years at this stage of the year we're used to these score lines in games involving the Broncos but they're on the end of these hidings that on, guys. turn things around in 2023 as they look to give this competition a Ooh. real shake and here's some concern here we're moving, we're moving. easy easy Jordan's concern in back play for Andrew Davey. Now, Rumu Greg's got involved here on Jordan Ricky as well. Jordan Ricky in there. 
There was concerns shown straight away for Andrew Davey who went into that tackle awkwardly. Jordan! Yeah, I think Go he's, back. He's reeled out of the tackle. We'll just Add. take him back. Yeah, he's just collected the shoulder there. Of, is that Polisia? Yep, Keenan Polisia. Oh, heavy contact there. Sure, what happened Gina, later on in that tackle, the completion yeah, okay. of the tackle, but Andrew Davies, mm, he's in Gaga. Yeah, he'll be coming yeah. from the field. Is it just um, is it is it just unnecessary to Jerry? Yep. 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 Clint, where are we? So we remember so, Greg could be in a bit of strife mm -hmm. here. He's been called out. Could be a bin job. Uh, uh, Reese. Yeah, yeah, go there. It's, I'm not saying it's a head slam, it's a grapple. The whistle's already gone because we've got a guy knocked out. It's totally unnecessary. It's on report. Penalty. Just on report. Remains 13 on 13. I'm saying it's a grapple. What's a grapple? <laughs> Around the neck. That's a good question. Jordan. What's a grapple? It's a new term in rugby league, apparently. <laughs> a grapple. I know you are. I'm not my teammates. Step back. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Step back. Just keep a cool head. All you do is run the risk of going to the bin. You shall not grapple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, help me, someone. <laughs> Just think of Vegas. Now another epic season of the block is here. Five feisty new blockhead couples are travelling back in time to battle it out for the block's best houses yet. Sunday night, 7 o'clock right here on 9. You get to look at the bathrooms. Sunday. Move together, no more! Wait! Gaby Hetherington. Is that your favourite room in the house, Soldy? Bathroom? No. <laughs> Carrigan. Charge down. Six more tackles here for Brisbane. Jordan Ricky with some good hands. Brisbane's way tonight so far. Carrigan. Reynolds, here they go again. Capewell, beautiful ball. Ezra Mann, step, scores. The Broncos are on fire at the Gabba. Ezra Mann with a four-pointer. Yeah, well done, the Broncos. And Kirk Capewell, fantastic. He's the one that punches this line. It's that short pass of Adam Reynolds. And he just knew... He stood in the tackle, Harvey Norman replay. There's that little short pass. There's the space and he turned, he knew his little 5'8 was going to be there at some stage. He had to fight his way through a couple of the Parramatta defenders, but Ezra Mam, one of the best support play 5'8s in the competition. Here he comes into screen. Thank you very much. Left foot step, another try. Danica. So Andrew Davey has been ruled out for the remainder of the night. He was classified as showing Category 1 symptoms. And with him out and Mitch Moses failing his head injury assessment as well, it means the Parramatta Eels have just activated their 18th man. That is Makahesi Makatoa. Thank you, Danica. He's uh, Kurt Capewell's a fantastic player. You know what, I think he's underutilised in this. He should get the ball nearly every set of six. He's that good. He can create. Reynolds converts.
Let me run. Here's your man. Brisbane on fire, as is Paul Vaughton in the commentary box. I'll tell you why, because there's a lot of add-ups and takeaways happening at the moment, because Adam Reynolds, all of a sudden, has gone to 997 career goals. Not an opportunity for another one in a moment. As forward pass forward first, start forward yeah. pass. then it comes off para to forward pass first. So he's on 997 goals. Adam Reynolds. There's been only been one other player that's kicked over a thousand. Who would that be? Oz. Uh, Gray Meady. <laughs> um, Daryl Halligan. Daryl Halligan. Andrew Jones. No. Hasm. Not Hasm. Oh, I know who it is. Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith. 12.95. Yeah, got lucky there, boys. <laughs> Played alongside a lot of. Wonderful players. He's got a lot of Stop tries. It. I just Stop had to knock him over from the top. Uh, Reynolds, Adam Reynolds, he'll get in the easy. He's three away from the thousand. 12.95 for Cameron Smith. That means there's 12.97 combined in the commentary box tonight. But you are 100%. And only all. one of us is 100%. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Wait. Two from two. Here are the Eels. Opportunity for them to get on the board. Brown, Gutherson, Clint Gutherson couldn't find Bailey Simonson. Two tackles left in the set here. Simonson to Brown. It's all on him with no Mitch Moses. Gurumu Greg playing the ball. Nine away from the line. Last play here for the Eels. There's a kick into the in-goal area. Reese Walsh will be trapped in goal. Repeat set coming for the Eels. Yeah, smart kick. Smart kick. It was a two-pass kick, which makes the defence come up. And that meant Reese Walsh. He was flying across the try line there to try and clean up this loose ball. He did a great job, but well done to Parramatta. Adam on behind the line. Adam Reynolds with ball in hand, ready for the drop out. He goes short. It's perfect. It's high. But the Eels have got it. Westpac red zone. Soldi update. There you go. 13 inch. And they play the ball. So, very evenly matched there. Although the Broncos have scored a lot of points. Well, the Eels with a chance for their first points. Brown. Oh, that's, that's a great steal from Capewell. A well, one-on-one steal from the Broncos' back rower. And now Brisbane will get a penalty for a high, high shot. They'll get out of their own danger zone. Yeah, well, it's good how they work it, isn't it? They, they must chat and say, right, everyone drop off and I'll, I'll try and do the strip. Because obviously you can't do it if there's two-on-one. But actually, in fact, Jermaine, um, that Jermaine. Play, Parramatta player had, had a hold of Port. Billy Walters' jumper, trying to make it a two-on-one, but it wasn't. Hopgood's on report, high tackle. Brisbane fine touch. Wait, wait. Make sure the camera. Brendan Piakura. Wow, of a game in Townsville last week. Down here, Lockie. Yeah, well, the Broncos have scored plenty of points here tonight, but I think they see another six again. I think Kevy be more impressed by the zero that the Eels have got at the moment. We talked about it a couple of weeks ago, defence win premierships, and, and they go again, the Broncos. Mariner, he's on a hat trick, kicks in field. Ezra Mann looks for a double, but Billy Walters takes it away from him, and Billy's got a double. Oh, he's a thief. Billy Walters. <laughs> he just stole four points off Ezra. But once again, beautiful play by the Broncos. It's almost a training drill out there for them with their attack. Everything's going well. They're getting set up early. Every pass is perfect. Look at that pass again into space, the kick. 
and then Ezra and Billy chasing it. Ooh. Ooh. No, Billy just, grabs it. No, it was almost a repeat of the try that they scored earlier. Although this time Mariner, he kicks in field on the Harvey Norman replay. And Ezra, man, they had that much time. They were thinking, yours, 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 no, mine. And then they just had to work it out here. How are they going to let it go to go backwards? Billy's having a chuckle. Hope his old man's got that smile up in the coach's box yet. Kevy, something, please. You can ask him. He's in the box next door to us. Billy Walters with a try. First career double for Billy Walters. Paul, you mentioned it at the start of the season that they were talking about earlier on in the year who'd have the Broncos' number nine jersey come the back end of the season, but he's owned it. Well, he's earned it, is what he's done. They tried a couple, and Billy being the mainstay there, but I think this is probably his best game of the year tonight. Been really good. You know what? I think they're looking at the... I think they're looking at the... Yeah, the, the release. Yeah, the release, because it was like Ezra had it and then gave it, but it's been confirmed, I think. Yeah, good to go. Yeah, it was nice a bit, bit weird, the little at the end there. Look at this. So Ezra sort of gets it first and then all gives it to him and he's in front of him. So... converts Billy Walters with a double. And on Adam Reynolds' watch, he is on now 998 career goals. So 998 career goals for Adam Reynolds. Cameron, at this rate, he's, he's averaging, I think, about 85, 86 goals a year. He'd have to play three more years. And he's 30, how old is he now, 34? He wants to play at least in 2025. Okay. I think you're safe. Oh, <laughs> really? Easy. Easy. Kobe Hetherington. Sackled by Lussick and Greg. Reese Walsh from inside the 40. And that's a 40 20 from Reese Walsh. Is there anything he cannot do? It's Brisbane's, by the way, first 40-20 of the year, and it belongs to their fullback. Oh, he stole the words out of my mouth, Saldi. What can't he do, this young man? He's got skill, he's got speed. And just have a look at that for a left foot 40-20 attempt. That's it's a 40-10, really. What a strike. And he can goal kick as well. Pulisia. Five away for the Broncos. Walters to dummy half. Now Reynolds, Capewell. Hand in hands. And Bryce Cartwright with the tackle. Walters. Reynolds, Polisia. Dummy to Carrigan. He wants the ball this end of the field. He scored in his last two games. Then Renapier Kura. And that's been picked up. It's play on here for the Eels. Bailey Simonson has it. One of the rare times the Broncos' attack hasn't resulted in points. And then into the field. Brown. Well, through. See the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to Saturday night footy tomorrow night. The Roosters up against the Dolphins. 
at Allianz Stadium. Coverage from 7 o'clock tomorrow night on 9 and 9 now. Saturday night rugby league on Nines Wide World of Sports. Right through to the finals. The ball will cross Cartwright. Produces an offload on the bounce. Penasini's got it. He's wrapped up 19 away from the Broncos line. Last play here for Parramatta. Dylan Brown with a kick. And Brisbane have got it through Carrigan. But when he touches offside, it, he's still in the offside. field of play. He doesn't get back to the goal line. Makes him offside. There you go, because you can't be offside in your own in goal area. But as the explanation there from Adam G, Pat Carrigan came from the field of play and went back to get the ball. So the Eels take the tap. Jermaine Hopgood playing the ball. Lussick. He outs with Ryan Madison. Tackled by Pulisia. Oh my goodness. That went forward. Yeah, it's back in there. Gone. Between Brandon Hans and Luca Moretti. Down to you, Danica. It's a great crowd here at the Gabba tonight. They've been in full voice, especially a lot of those Broncos fans. We've got 29,005 people in attendance tonight. It looks like a spectacular shot from above as well. Yes, yeah, certainly is. Dejan. Dejan, mate. HIA. Dejan Arce having to go from Dejan, the field. The independent doctor getting involved there. Yeah, Not just yeah. from bad to worse here for the Eels. Yeah, it is, and you can you notice the uh, the absence of Mitch Moses, particularly in this second half. They've looked a little unorganised with their attack in particular. Putting in plenty of effort, the Parramatta Eels, but just lacking that polish in attack tonight. I think they're missing one big man as well. I think Regan Campbell-Gillard, I think, is a big out. Sean Lane, of course, is missed a lot of football this year, but Regan Campbell-Gillard in the middle to try and battle, particularly those starters of Payne Haas and Patrick Carrigan and Tom Flegler. And so Mitch is able to take the field next week. It's a big game against the Roosters. Get to Cam, another player they're missing, especially coming out of their own area and a finisher as well. And make a C vote. Well, Soldier, you're right, they're, they're two big outs, aren't they? You got their best finisher in, in Mike Acevo, who scored the most tries, and then their leading uh, the guy that is the most aggressive, the most physical, Regan Campbell Gellard in the middle. So they're two big outs for this footy side tonight, and they just the stages where they needed to compete, they just haven't been able to against a very good football side in the Broncos. Cartwright's got it for the Eels. No, it's foul play. Penalty here for a, a crusher Maybe tackle. It's foul play. It's Joe, 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 wait, it's foul play. Selwyn. Joey Lussick to take the tap. Selwyn Cobbo placed on report. So the Eels again with another opportunity. Brendan hands to Clint Gutherson and Ezra. Man. He's a gun defender. My word, he hits hard. Joe off and Gowie. 12 away from the line. Dylan Brown goes short to Moretti. Luca Moretti stands in the tackle. Play it five away. He's knocking on the door here, the Eels. And they find a way through. It's the last tackle. Arlo, Dylan Brown, kicking. Cobbo's got it. Gets back in the field of play. And he gets back out to the ten. Now, Lockie touched on that point before about the zero against the Broncos tonight. And that's what, oh, who's this, Herbie? 
Now that's what the coach, Kevin Walters, would be most pleased with. You look at that set just there. They defend a whole set of six on their trial line. They turn Parramatta away. And this man here, Selwyn Cobbo. Good tackle in the end. Not held, gets up, goes again. He'll almost get to the line. Stays in the field of play. Luke, the ball stripped out. Three man tackle. Gutherson stripped it. What about Cobbo? What about that run? How good's that? Well, he started it all the way down the other end of the field, 98 metres away, where he cleaned up that kick into the end goal. <laughs> Got that. I didn't nice, do it. Nice what? try, Keith. Brisbane shoot for touch. Still nothing there, Paul from Kevy. <laughs> Pull a seat at a pain, Haas. Strong run from Haas in game 100. Tyson Smoothie. Adam Reynolds, Reese Walls. Loops a pass. Almost to Danica and Lockie. They must have called for it. Hey, the touch line. Last 15 minutes been a bit sloppy for Reese. Pass never looked really on, and there was one earlier where he Wait. tried to snatch and grab Wait. a quick pass and just had to keep it. Tom off. You wait till we're ready. Danny Lockie. Yeah, we'll see where you can fall into some bad habits. Uh, you got the game won and you start to disrespect the football, so I'm sure Kevy wants him to finish the game off strong. There's still 18 minutes to go, and 42-0, this could get really ugly for, for the Eels. I just checked, you know, I'll have to double check with David Milton, but the biggest winning margin for, for the Broncos over the Eels is 46. So if you're the Broncos, you could create history tonight, but if you're Eels, you don't, you don't want to be a part of that. You should know that result too, Lockie, because you played in it. Your debut. Yeah, but, uh, the, what, is that 95? 95, 60 to 14. Were you down 14, 14-12 uh, at half time? I think it was, it was around there. And it... That was a long time ago, Salty. I, I remember <laughs> I sat on the bench for reserve, uh, played reserve grade and sat on the bench for first grade. So that's, back in those days, that's how it was done. But yeah, that was a big day. I remember Lazo was playing, Steve, Elf. Yeah, it was a great team. Well, you were down 14 6 at half time and won 60 to 14. So, what he was saying was they scored all the points when he got on the field. Yeah, exactly. Well, hang on, here could be some points here for Parramatta. Out wide in the corner, Russell. Yeah, and I, I think he's missed this. I think the ball's fallen out of his hand. Coming in to tackle six, Jerry. Like he got no try. Yeah, I want it looked to see like he bounced the ball. The it looked like he bounced the ball, didn't it, mm, yeah. Fatty, from where we were sitting? Goes for the big dive, which he's done a bit of the last couple of weeks. Been very good, this young man, Russell. And I'm sure that ball... Oh, he scored it. Oh, wow. It's looking to determine if the ball is grounded in the end goal. No, that's a try. It looks like it from that angle. No, that's a try. He's down with pressure. He's got it's that. in. He's yeah, got that's, that. that's a try. Looks all good. That's try. Yep. That's a try. Light them up. Green lights. The ball is grounded. The hand is always on the ball. We have a decision. So there we go. Try awarded to Sean Russell. The Eels are on the board. Well, there's the first points for the Parramatta Eels. Taking them over 60 minutes tonight. They've, they've tried hard. Finally, they find some space. A bit of Adelaide footy, though, it took to break this Broncos defensive line down. Fair effort there from Dylan Brown to get across the field and get across defenders. Well done to that young man to score in the corner. He was under a bit of pressure. It took, took a lot of skill on the Harvey Norman replay to get that one. And it all comes back from the ill discipline by Broncos with the ball as uh, Darren spoke about
In a game like this too, and that's going back to that point before Selwyn Cobo made that line break, Fatty. That's that's what Kevin Walters would, would be looking at now. He, he won't be looking at the, the points or trying to increase the scoreboard here for the Broncos. He'll be looking at those effort areas, defending your trial line, getting through your sets. Because the game has won. It's 42 points to four with 15 minutes to go. He'll want the, the Broncos to finish this game exactly the way they wanted to start it. High energy, high completions, good discipline. Did you see that booger fly out of Gutherson's hooter? It was massive. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Cole. Commentary away this time last year. Off. You were going to retire. Yeah, I think I'm nearly done. <laughs> <laughs> you signed for five years. No, he was never. He was never doing it. Can, we, can we get a just replay? The, get a replay. The, no. <laughs> the boss said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They said if you replay it, you're not going to Vegas. <laughs> All right, 42 to 4, Brisbane in front of the Eels. Good finish from Sean Russell. You're right, Paul, he's provided a, a few finishes like that. High tackle. No, it's not fast. Yeah, his highlight reels be pretty good so far. He's only played a handful of first grade games. But he scored a few trials like that. Once again, a lack of discipline, high ta high shot, bringing power back into the, you know, look, look they're going to get thrashed, but giving an opportunity, I know that. Oh, no, not the Double knock on. I got backwards off para the whole time and off para Sorry. feet, knock on Broncos. We've got breaking news from Danica. Yeah, unfortunately for the Broncos, Dean Mariner won't be able to score a hat-trick tonight. He's just come from the field for a head injury assessment. It has been classified hey, as Category 2, but we put 14 minutes left on I mean the clock. One. Uh, it's Broncos unlikely we'll be back into the action the tonight. Against them. I believe it was all backwards off Parramatta. So captain's challenge. If it's unsuccessful, Parramatta feed. Okay, the ball is lost by Dylan Brown. Need to see the direction it travels. The ball goes backwards initially from Parramatta. Continuing to analyse this one. Yeah, well, the ball, yeah, the ball then contacts Luca Moretti. Yeah, yep. Moretti. And it goes back in. Does it, does it go back into the Dylan Parabella Brown player? is in front of Luca Moretti at this point. So we're looking at penalty Brisbane here then. We now need Accident to determine alongside. after contacting Luca Moretti and travelling forward whether... Looking to see whether the ball contacts Dylan Brown or a Bronco first. It is an accidental offside at this point against Parramatta. Well, Ricky knocks on, so we just, it's an accidental offside. So scrum feed Brisbane. The ball is then knocked on by let's, Jordan let's Ricky. Go. Come on. The challenge is successful. The first defence is accidental offside against Parramatta. 
Okay, it's still a scrum, still a scrum. We've got an accidental offside. It's a, still a scrum, still a scrum there, ball. So scrum feed possible. to Brisbane, we got there. Oh, you just run the same scrum play as what they did in the first half, wouldn't you? Just those feet and feet. Ezra Mam and Reese Walsh it's team up. Unlucky one, mate. It's unlucky. Sit behind the scrum. Just watch them sit behind the scrum. Come on, guys. Let's go down. They pick their side. There they go. Smooth into Walsh. <laughs> there is that play. You're absolutely right, Cam. Maybe Farnworth out there. Tackled by Gutherson. Capewell, Ezra Mann, Kobe Hetherington, Tyson Smoothie to dummy half. To go on his own, fires a pass, Capewell! Capewell is in, he helps himself for a four-pointer. Well done, Kurt. Been very strong on their left side tonight. And he's pretty happy. One of the senior members of this team. It's a nice little run, wasn't it? Out of dummy half. By Smoothie. And away they go. Yeah, smart play, Tyson Smoothie. Harvey Norman. Eight. What are you doing here? Cameron's microphone. microphone. It's the mic, it's gone. What's yeah, happening? taking the gas. What's happened? That was lovely craft there, Tyson Smoothie from dummy half. He put the right left foot on the marker, found his way in behind, a nice little round the, round the back pass to Kurt Capewell. He's had a great night tonight, hasn't he, Fatty? He's played strong, defended strong. Premiership winning player at Cronulla and Penrith. And I think at the Ipswich Jets before that, many years ago. This so is for 9.99, Adam Reynolds, he'll know as well. And that is his 999th career conversion. Now Saturday night, NRL footy is back on nine from seven o'clock. The Roosters will be looking to snatch a win against the Dolphins as they return to their spiritual home at Allianz Stadium. Don't forget, in round one, the Dolphins beat the Roosters. So the Roosters will be looking to revenge. Catch all the action from 7 o'clock tomorrow here on Nines Wide World of Sports. So Adam Reynolds is on 999 on. career goals. Tonight be the night that he becomes the second player to reach a thousand career goals. I was talking about it earlier. Cameron Smith has 1,295. He even got them when he was slipping over at the Sydney Football Stadium, got them from everywhere. Is that the only time you slipped over? Uh, I think so. Did you do it on purpose? No, definitely not. All luck, that one. <laughs> Paul didn't slip over for any of his two. <laughs> Payne Haas. Where were they kicked at, buddy? At the mighty Brookvale over. Same day? Yes. for you to have to take two uh, Mick O'Connor had kicked uh, five or six. It was against Newcastle in, in 1988. And Snells had gone off late, and I looked around and thought, you know what? They're nearly in, it's nearly in front. I'll have a shot. <laughs> Pop good. Looking for an offload. It's not forthcoming. Two tackles left in this set for the Eels. Joey Lussick to dummy half. They try their luck down the short side. Dijan Arce inside ball. That's a lovely try for the Eels. Dylan Brown runs around under the post and scores. 
Well worked down the short side by Parramatta. They're in for their second. Yeah, great short side play, Parramatta. It's really good football. It's just a little reminder to everyone the quality that they have in this football team. It just hasn't been their night tonight. Harvey Norman replay. They've got three plays down that short side. Three on two. They do a lovely job there to work out the numbers. And Brown, he started the play. He does a great job to support back on the inside. Just been a little bit sloppy, haven't they, the Broncos, to finish this match? Yeah. I'm not saying they've clocked off, but you know, when you get to this lead, you're leading by 40. It's like, you know, just can we finish and get in uninjured? But Dylan Brown's been pretty good in his uh, comeback. Now coming up on Chemist Warehouse, Sunday footy, the Knights are marching towards a finals berth. Can they keep their streak alive against the Bulldogs in Newcastle? Beginning from 3.30 on your home of NRL finals footy, Nines wide world of sports. Yeah, well, just on Dylan Brown, like he is his second game back now. And his coach, Brad Arthur, he said he was pleased with his effort. He was full of effort. He knew he was going to return that way last week, but his attack was so so. But he's certainly taken a step in the right direction tonight. Without his other half, and Mitch Stay Moses in this second 40 minutes, he's really taken charge. Nine and a half remaining. Rumu Greg Jordan, for the Eels. Tackle by Jordan Ricky. Parramatta, two second half tries. Dylan Brown now with a Sean Russell. They can't go towards Russell's side of the field again. Some heavy contact there, you heard that. At home from Kurt Capewell. Capewell in there again, making a tackle on Dijan Arce. Gutherson gets a pass away. We'll play on here. Brown. Dylan Brown. Good tackle, Katoni Staggs. Simonson to Arce, puts a kick in the air. The contest, and that was touched off Walsh in the Piakura, so Parramatta penalty. Oh, that was a clear offside there. Go! And they're playing on Parramatta. Here they do, tap and go, Gutherson! How did he hold him up? How? That's amazing. If he didn't get that ball down, what a great piece okay. of defensive no. work that was. Jerry, we're Herbie coming into Farnworth. one. We've got no try held up. We just need to see if it's actually stripped or he just loses it. We've then got a uh, tackle made on Brendan in the field of play. Herbie Farnworth, I, I don't know how he's held Clint Gutherson up here. That's an incredible play. 50-50 on how this ball comes loose, but just watch Herbie Farnworth here. Get his body in position. He's around the hips, around the legs, and then rises up around the torso and the ball. Clint Gutherson reaches the end goal. Incredible. He's lost it Just looking for another angle field. to see how down. the ball comes out. Well, he's trying to get the ball free to... Clint Gutherson is to fighting ground. to ground the ball. The defender is just trying to hold him up. The ball is lost backwards by Parramatta. And the tackle is completed on Brendan Piakura in the field of play. We have a decision. So it's play on. Yep. Kirby Farnley, as, as good a, as a attacking players he and Katoni Staggs are, I think they're better defenders. Staggs in particular, he loves to, he hits very, really hard and thumps players into the ground. But Farnworth's equally adept. He made a one-on-one -on -one tackle about 15, 20 minutes ago on Clint Gutherson on, on this side of the field. He's just been so good. Under eight minutes remaining. Reminder that here's a penalty for Ryan, you're more lost Brisbane. No, ten meters. But a reminder that Adam Reynolds is on 999 career goals. Brisbane score again. A chance for 
A milestone here tonight as he shoots for touch. Brisbane will attack from just on their own side of halfway. Brennan Piakura takes the ball into Eels territory. Madison was one of the Eels defenders. Pulisir to Haas. And Payne Haas. Wrapped up. And Madison again in that tackle. Herbie trying to dance away from them. Self and Gowie though, wrapped him up. Smoothie to Pulisir. Nice and smoothie to dummy half. Payne Haas. Adam Reynolds. Great hands from Reynolds. Now Reese Walsh. Out wide to Cobbo. Cobbo kicks in field. It's try time Brisbane. Reese Lightning in under the post. Coming in the fourth. Reese Walsh with the try. As Brisbane bring up 50. A wonderful try by the Broncos. Still no smiles from Kevy. There's plenty of others. We've seen former player Danny Kemp in the coach's box there. And we've seen three tries from the Broncos tonight on the Harvey Norman replay in similar fashion. All out wide to the extremities and then a kick in field. You see Reese Walsh just get himself back on side there. That's smart play. But the wingers, they got speed, they got size, but they got some skill too to be able to put the ball on the boot back inside. Lockie. Yeah, it was great work by Adam Reynolds too. He, the ball, the pass that came to him went behind him. He had to check his run, put one hand out, got the ball, and then the cross with the block play out to the right here. And Cobo is always a, a target or a threat. There's another good try there by the Broncos. But here, here we go. Here we go. So he's on 999 career goals. Adam Reynolds. Another milestone at the Gabba. A thousand career goals for Adam Reynolds. Well done. I wonder if he knows. No, no one's running onto the field. I remember when Lockett did it. Buddy did it. They all went on. Yeah, everyone went on. Well done, Adam. What a star he's been for a long, long time. You know, a lot of the tries that Reese Walsh scores, he's actually been involved in the play before that, before he actually runs over the line. He's with a kick or a setup or a bit of pace. And, and then he just backs up the inside and scores the tries. He's such a great player. Having a stellar season for the Bronx and uh, 54 points. Just in from memory, that's the first time they have got past 50 since 2018. <laughs> from, from memory. <laughs> Is David Middleton in your mind, is he? Stand square! Back at Joe! Wait! That was all from the, the re research sheets of today's game, in fact. Was there a Reese? Was there a sheet? <laughs> Ezra Mam to Brendan Piakura. Keenan Pulisia, Rumu Gregg in the tackle, and along with Luca Moretti. Reynolds, kicking from inside the 40, 40, 20 time. That's a second one of the night for Brisbane. One from Reese Walsh, this one from Adam Reynolds. He's got it on a string. Well, that's incredible. And he, and he puts this, this spin on the ball. Just watch how he drops the ball on the outside of his boot. So it spins to that side. Just look at that. He just strikes it with the outside of his right boot. And see that first hop to the sideline. It spins away from Clint Gutherson. What a play. One of the great kickers of our game, game's history. Adam Reynolds. Just another little nugget, boys. They haven't hit 60 since 2007. And they get over the line here. Now, from my memory, that was against Newcastle, I'm pretty sure. You're reading my mind. <laughs> they hit 70 that day. Smoothie. It was on a Sunday afternoon. Here's Keenan Pulisir. 
A couple of metres away from the line. Reynolds loops a pass. Oh, Dean Mariner back out on the field only a moment ago. Scores his third try of the night. And Adam Reynolds will have a kick for 60. Yeah, lovely. Fantastic play. And this sort of play, it comes from weeks and weeks and years of the training drills that they do. They practice for all these plays and those long floaters. And once again, look at this, look at that pass. That's just fantastic. You know, they set it up with a clump of a clump of short runners on the Harvey Norman replay. So he gets all of the defenders attracted to those short runners, thinking he's going to hit short to try to run through. Well, we're going to check this. I think we're going to check the touch line. Hey, Jerry, was coming in to tuck the four. Review touch line, please, mate. Well, this would be pretty close. Oh, you know, he's out. Yeah, out. Dean Mariner's foot goes into touch prior to grounding the ball. Oh, well, well, done to, well done to Sean Russell there. Diving effort on Mariner. Save a try. Play the ball, guys. Marcus. We've still got three minutes. Tyson, front foot. To try and get to 60. Time's still off. Well, they've only got two games remaining, plus a bye now with Parramatta Eels. So they get two points Move, in the last round coming with the bye. But where does it where does it leave them, Fatty? Where does it leave Jordan Parramatta in their quest to play Ooh. finals football? Yes. Uh, they're on the precipice. Jordan I'm telling you, I don't think they can make it. Just to be honest, they're not playing well enough to make the top eight. This sort of stuff's good, but it's you know late in the match. So they've got the the Roosters at home, then the Panthers, and then finish off with the ball. They won't beat the Panthers. But they've got obviously got the two points from the buy, but they need to win at least one one more. I reckon. Brown. Dylan Brown, tackled by Reese Walsh, short of the line, will be a turnover. But I don't know if in their current form they can. Para, para here. Two minutes remaining. This from the Roosters, as we say, penalty here, Brisbane. A girly. They've got the Dolphins tomorrow night. We'll see that game on Nine's Wide World of Sports coverage from 7 o'clock. And next week, Roosters v Eels could see the return of Sam Walker into the NRL. Yeah, I've heard, uh, I've heard rumours about Sam coming back, which would be a bonus for the Roosters. If they allow him to play off the cuff, which he likes to do, then he can, uh, he can help the Roosters, that's for sure. So Herbie Farnworth waiting to... Take the tap. We had two footballs on the fields. Brendan Piakura playing the ball. Got back half a metre and had to play it again. Tyson Smoothie to dummy half. Keenan Pulisia. Smoothie to Reynolds. He's playing Haas. over a minute remaining Reynolds drifting showing it still staying alive fighting, fighting with Lussick no Smoothie goes to Hetherington another strong performance Lussick, from Lussick. Kobe Hetherington off the bench last play here for Brisbane Reynolds kicking for Mariner and the Eels have got it through Russell. And there's a collision. And Gutherson got one on the knee there. Slow to get up. Under 30 seconds remaining. Some solid contact on Makahesi Makatoa. The 18th man for Parramatta. Activated. So Bobo went for an intercept. Yeah, it worked last week. So this will be the last play 
of the game. And that is full time at the Gabba. Broncos fans stand and cheer. They have sent a statement to the rest of the NRL tonight. A force to be reckoned with in the Premiership race for 2023. The Brisbane Broncos, a commanding performance. Full time. Brisbane 54 have defeated the Eels 10.